Hello everyone, this is Hyowar again. Uh, today I am going to be reacting and reviewing the Klee trailer in uh, English, Chinese, Korean and Japanese. Uh, I tried to do this separately but I couldn't actually find the Chinese dub anywhere uh, which was annoying but uh, what can you do? Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. This is what I mean uh, by the dub being quite hard to apply. As I said, the Chinese language is very fast, uh, very short, depending on what's been said. So here we see Klee in English, did a very good job fitting it here, but then here she stops speaking. You see her lips have completely stopped, but the dialogue still continues. Which means you won Klee the second you see Jean coming. Let's go! Fleeing Sun Knight, an explosive expert and a regular at the Knights of Vernius's confinement room. I love that run. It's a 24-hour lock-in. Say that's little terrorist. <laughs> She's literally like a Santa Claus that just gives bombs. I tried to find this on Billy Billy as well, but I couldn't find it, so I have to use this uh, compilation. I've got to love that about Mihoyo. I mean, this little sequence of words is so rem reminiscent of anime. I can't remember which one it was though, but I remember someone did something like this in one of their shows. You see what I mean? Like, the Chinese fits perfect with this, as it's obvious with it being the original dub. I mean, just even the little movements fit completely with her words. Like that, nah, and then she stretches out. That is so much more natural. And there, she's silent. There's no additional dialogue when she turns around, like in the English version. This is the reason why I played Genshin Impact. I mean, originally I had seen um, the trailer and everyone was calling it the Breath of the Wild clone, a uh, Chinese ripoff of Breath of the Wild. Um, obviously, from the early footage, I can see why they said that, uh, but I still had like my own uh, hopes that it could be something unique. And when um, the game came along in October 2020, during the pandemic, uh, I had stumbled upon this trailer. And this character, Klee, was the reason why I decided to play Genshin Impact. And to me, she's the little bundle of joy that makes Genshin Impact what it is.
利，你应该知道后果吧。You've got to love this bit. It's, it's literally like watching. Um, <laughs> it's like watching an OG basically walk down the street while dodging bullets, but instead of that, it's like watching the bits in Gundam. You know, when um, the show goes along and then you start getting these mobile suits that have um, these um, bits that fly off their suit and they just basically attack an enemy from all angles. You know, that's exactly what Kree is. Kree is a, a mobile suit, you know. Uh, her Chinese voice actor is uh, my favourite, um, but let's go through the rest of them as well. So the next one is Korean. Got to love that beginning bit of the music where it's like hyping up who this character could be, who the strongest could be. And I love how Mahoe has just translated all of that text into all four languages. You can see the difference. So that bit where she jumps and she expresses one word, that's not there in the Korean one, but in the Korean one, again, there's no excess dialogue after she turns around. When she's beginning to turn around, there's no excess dialogue, and that's perfect. See, that's very similar to the Chinese uh, version, which was bom bom jadan. So to kind of keep it within that kind of syllable yeah so here the kitsi doesn't fit with the the lip sync I really want to know what the climate looks like. I mean, it's been almost two years and we've not yet had a chance to see what the Klee's confinement room looks like. I actually look forward to the day when we actually get a chance to see. I've never tried this. I know the Traveller is the one who summons this geostructure, but I've never ever had Klee climb to the top and do this charge attack. There's something about seeing Klee holding a bunch of Dokodo bombs like that and just running with a smile that just kind of cheers me up. She just looks so happy. Next to the Japanese version. Again, the Japanese also manages to make it fit and that's perfect. So this is the, to me, this is where the similarities of the Asian languages allow them to retranslate and refit everything in one go. And also this voice actor is one of my favorite Japanese voice actors. She voices uh, Sarara or Sarara from um, Lock Horizon. She's uh, Momo in um, Sangetsu no Lion. 
Uh, she's got one of the more unique voices uh, for little children. <laughs> It's that pitch that she's able to produce that makes it very unique for me. I also like Bom Bom Bakudan because that's basically just Pom Pom Jadan, but with rather than Jadan, it's Bakudan, which basically means the same thing but in a different tone. See, again, Jean's lip sync doesn't just, it's, it's a bit over, so that was slightly over the lip sync. That smile. So this is one of the first character uh, demo trailers. I mean, she and Venti were the first two to get this kind of trailer. Uh, but as we see, their trailers are a lot shorter than the ones we're getting nowadays for the five stars. I mean, uh, Raiden, Zhongli, um, they all hit about two minutes, and I think Raiden goes beyond two minutes. Even Sheng He goes beyond to, to almost three minutes. Um, so yeah, the, the, the length of these character trailers are getting longer and longer and it's also getting better and better. Um, when I first started the game, I was very conflicted because, again, like I said, I, I, I like this voice actor, you know, and her voice is really cute and it really fits with Klee. However, I wanted to play this in Chinese because it was a Chinese game. It's the first Chinese game that I would be playing from the mainland and I wanted to experience it in its original... Um, dialogue, uh, sorry, audio. Uh, I couldn't play it in uh, Chinese script because I can't read simplified Chinese script. Uh, so I had to select English, which you've seen if you've watched my other videos. But um, yeah, I was very conflicted. But uh, the thing I like about um, Chinese Genshin voice actors is they're more, they're more in communication or they're more interactive with their community in China. Um, so Back in 2021, uh, for the New Year celebration, the Chinese New Year celebration, there was a fan song called um, Let's Follow the Wind, I believe. And that had basically the voice actor for Venti, Xiao, um, Chi Chi and Kli, the Chinese ones, the original ones, contributing to this fan song for Chinese New Year and this song really brightened up my new year uh, so yeah um, for me uh, Genshin was the highlights of the COVID pandemic uh, it took me a long time before I decided to do any sort of YouTube stuff but still it's definitely one of the highlights of the pandemic it really gave me a place to go uh, during lockdown the one thing I will say though about Klee is that she is um, great as a pyro applier. So as you can tell, she applies pyro on anything she hits. But the downside is if you're on grass is that everything gets set alight and you can do a lot of damage on yourself. So I used to use Klee all the time which was my first 5 star character. But um, because I hadn't gotten Barbara yet, I had no healer. So I had to heal after every engagement because she was burning herself to death. Um, she's definitely one of the more tamed characters, though, despite being five star. Like this attack here. 
I feel it's a bit underwhelming. It hits a lot of things. It's great for hitting aerial targets, especially if you're fighting the uh, Oceanid and you've got the flying stuff, uh, the eagles and stuff. The auto cannons basically just lock in and just destroy everything. But the problem is, is when she's taken off the field, unlike uh, other characters now that we have that are, have um, constant um, bursts that stay on the field, like Venti's burst that stays on the field, uh, Gang Yu's burst stays on the field, Kree's burst disappears if she's taken off the field. I, I do know that her constellation, uh, I think it's like constellation five or something, if she's taken off the field, all of these uh, flowers basically blow up and do a lot of damage, but that's a very expensive thing to have for um, five star, in my opinion. You know, I feel like she's a bit underwhelming compared to other characters nowadays. But because she's a constant pyro applier, she kind of allows me to use her with Raiden, who uh, basically is a permanent uh, electro applier. So she's always doing overloads constantly, or vaporize if I use Kokomi or Barbara with her. So she's still a good character, so I would reckon if anyone's not pulled for her yet, the next rerun, I will definitely uh, recommend getting her. Um, if not just because she's literally the cutest character in the game. Uh, we have got all of the um, lolly characters like Chi Chi, uh, Sayu, uh, Diona, and we're supposed to be getting Yao Yao at some point, but we haven't seen her yet, so I don't know if she's coming either. But we have the four lollies, and to me, Klee is the one that stands out the most with her personality being what it is. She's always so bright, so happy. Um, and yeah, and after playing the summer event last year, that adds to um, my enjoyment of Klee. It's a shame that we didn't get to see her and Yomiya really kind of, you know, hash it out as uh, firework experts or gunpowder experts in the um, festival, but hopefully Mihoyo will do something that makes these two characters you know create a large explosion anyway i hope you enjoyed this uh short video um if you like this video please like and subscribe um yeah thank you for watching